Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of VGC Series 12, uh, where today it's either the last day of Series 11 or the first day of Series 12. I'm not sure when I want to post it yet. I will decide during the editing and thumbnail making process and all that stuff. Um, it's I think it's a little late today for me to post, but who knows, maybe I'll change my mind. Anyway, today I don't have a new team for you guys. I don't have, well, I kind of have a new team for you guys, but not really. I don't have like a new showdown team anyway. Um, today, what I'm doing is I'm going to share two rental codes for teams that I have made. Um, I feel pretty confident about these teams. I've been doing pretty good with them on showdown. Um, so hopefully you guys can do pretty good with them on the ladder. And then I'll record footage with them on the ladder, you know, over the next couple of days. Hopefully if I, uh, have the time. <laughs> time has been a hot commodity lately. Anyway, as always, everybody, if you like this video, please, 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 please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I think only like, uh, like, like 20% or something like that of all my viewers are subscribed. If you are, if you're here and you like my videos and you're watching them consistently, just subscribe, stick around for a while. Um, while I'm plugging that, you know, go follow my Twitch. I live stream, uh, when I can. Not, not very consistently, but when I can, I live stream. I live stream some VGC content. I live stream, um, a Nuzlocke I've been doing. I'm almost done with it, actually. And when I get Arceus, I'm sure I'll live stream bits and pieces of that. I don't think I want to play the whole thing on stream, but, you know, um, Go ahead and follow my TikTok if you're not already following my TikTok. Um, you know, if you like TikTok. If you don't like TikTok, that's fine too. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, join the Andy Lee Discord server. There's some really cool people in there. They help me from time to time build these teams and I play their teams. If you want me to play one of your teams, the best way to do it is to drop in the Andy Lee Discord server, drop the team there, and I will try my best to get, get it going for you. Anyway, um, all of that out of the way here, let's get into our first team. Hopefully I edit the video right and it's on the screen right now. The first team that we have here is the Zamazenta Groudon team that I built with Donut Eater on Twitch. Um, we did like a co-stream and we like streamed a bunch of battles. I did post a video of that. I'll Maybe I'll put a card here if I remember. <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's basically that team except I have made a couple of changes. Um, here's the rental code for it right here at the beginning and now we'll move over to the uh, to showdown so I can show you the spreads and everything right here. Um, here's Showdown. Um, the first Pokemon we're looking at here is Zamazenta. Um, I'm running just enough speed to outspeed our Pikachu. Um, which means we also are running just enough speed to outspeed Groudon or outspeed Kyogre. Very important. Um, we'll also outspeed most relevant fake out Pokemon. Um, Raichu sees play here and there, but usually it's just Incineroar and Rillaboom. And we will outspeed them unless they're running like a crazy amount of speed. Which means that we'll always get Wide Guard off because Wide Guard and Fake Out are the same priority. Fun fact. Um, anyway, so we're running Behemoth Blade, Wide Guard, or Behemoth Bash, sorry, um, for hitting Dynamax Pokemon harder, Wide Guard, Coaching, and Crunch. The Crunch is here basically just for um, Calyrex. We take a hit from Calyrex pretty well, and then we can just crunch them back and KO them. It's really also pretty good into Kyogre, just you know for like something that's neutral damage. Uh, I didn't want to run close combat to lower my defenses. I wanted to run something that could deal with Calyrex because it's really. Um, the only pawn on my team that can just one-shot it consistently, if that makes sense. Um, now moving into the EVs here, um, max HP for all the bulk, um, 180 attack is just for damage. Uh, we want to be able to do a little bit of damage. 76 speed, like I said, just enough speed to outspeed our Pikachu, which means we will also outspeed all Kyogres and all Groudons, unless they're like Scarf or something. And then plus special defense nature, just to make us a little bit more bulky on that end. Um, and then obviously our ability will give us 1.5 times on our defense whenever we come in. So we're gonna be really bulky, and we're not, we're not we don't actually need that much speed investment because Zamazenta is already so fast. Um, and we just coaching up our partners. We can wide guard next to them. You would think that in a format with Dynamax, wide guard wouldn't be as good, but. Let me tell you how many times, like, we, I waste the Dynamax and the Kyogre only has spread moves and Ice Beam. So they literally, their only options are click Ice Beam or have their Water Spout get blocked. And, like, that's just really good a lot of the time. I know the Venusaur and Groudon are weak to Ice Beam, but they're very bulky. You'll see in a second. And so, yeah, the Zamazenta is really awesome, like, team player. It's not really for taking KOs himself, but it'll take things that are, like, you know, that get knocked down really low. Um, and it'll support the rest of the team, like, really, really well. Very, very good Pokemon. I think we take, like, we take some, like, ridiculous attacks because Zamazenta is just stupidly bulky. Next up, we got Groudon. Um, we're running Assault Vest Groudon uh, just because I feel like I wanted bulkier Groudon. I wanted my Groudon to stick around. And since I'm running Coaching anyway, I don't really see a need to run, like, Swords Dance. 
I'm gonna get all my boost from coaching, and if I don't get my boost from coaching, I'm still gonna hit pretty hard. Uh, I'm running P Blades, Heat Crash, which is hotly debated. Uh, <laughs> I know people don't like to run Heat Crash, but it's really good in Dynamax for just going for Max Flare, getting the sun back in my favor, stuff like that. And um, outside of Dynamax, um, in the sun, you'll just like KO opposing like Landorus if you're not if if you like switch in when the Landorus start if you're not at minus one basically which is hard to say against Landorus, but it's a really just good like neutral attack to hit things with, and it's really good in the grass types. You'll one hit, hit, hit you'll one hit KO any Rillaboom, probably even if you're at minus one. It's just really solid attack. Um, high horsepower, very good move. Um, I wanted a single targeting option um, next to my P Blades because P Blades is not the most consistent move. I know the high horsepower is still in 95% accurate, but most of the time it works out in my favor um so i have you know spread p blades can miss very a lot high horsepower single target misses a lot less of the time and then rock slide for rock coverage because you need that for the flying types that you um so you can hit them like in dynamax and whatnot we are running 20 speed so we hit 113 which means that under tailwind we will outspeed calyrex shadow by um ex by by two basically <laughs> by it'll be by like four but it's you know um that way we outspeed anything that is speed crep specifically just to outspeed caloric shadow um by you know one speed it's really really neat um we're running just 156 attack i feel like that's really all you need on groudon unless you're running some like crazy offensive set you don't really need more than this um this is enough to get a one hit ko on a lot of zacians and a lot of incineroars even if you're at minus one um, depending on, you know, the spreads, obviously, and a lot of the time we're gonna have a little bit of chip because of our Venusaur and, um, like, Fake Out and stuff on our other mons. So this is, this is really all the attack I feel like you need. Um, four defense, just because we didn't want to invest in an odd number of stats, and then 76 special defense, make us just a little bit bulkier. Um, I believe we take Water Spout in the sun, um, with our Assault Vest and our special defense investment. Don't quote me on that, though, because I don't remember. I didn't calc for it specifically, it's just something that I've noticed. Um, yeah, really, really cool, um, Pokemon in this context. Next up, we got Venusaur G-Max. Um, basically, when you have Groudon, you have to run Venusaur. That's just the rules. That's just how the format works. I'm sorry if you don't like Venusaur. Those are the rules. I don't like it either. Um, I decided to run a weird Venusaur set. I'm running Weakness Policy, because most of the time, things that hit you are just gonna, they're just gonna Dynamax in front of you and Max Airstream. Well... With this spread, um, you'll take any physical max airstream just like normally, and then any special max airstream, you can get screens up to take that. Um, we're running enough bulk specifically to take Behemoth Blade and still have like 10% if they're max attack uh, adamant, I believe. That is what I calc for. If they are like absolute worst case scenario, we will live Behemoth Blade with like 10%. Very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> which means that we'll also take any physical max airstream because it basically hits about the same amount. Um, you know, most Pokemon don't have as much attack as Zacian, but they're hitting for, you know, super effective, just like Behemoth Blade does. It's, it's very complicated. <laughs> anyway, um, just very bulky, and people will just hit you with max airstream, you get your weakness policy off, and then you hit, like, a truck. Um, I know we're only running 12 special attack investment, but after the weakness policy... Oh, let me change the level. Hold on. I didn't change the level beforehand. There we go. I know we're only running 12 special attack, but every weakness policy will be at 244, which is a very high amount of special attack. It won't hit like a truck in Dynamax. Uh, I'm running Weather Ball, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. Uh, Weather Ball is there because it gives Venusaur access to Max Flare. It gives Venusaur access to Max Geyser if the rain is up. Um, a lot of people will lead like Kyogre and Incineroar, and you can just Max Geyser on the Incineroar and KO it. It's very funny. Um, also, with the amount of special attack we have in the sun, after just a little bit of chip, we'll get a clean KO on Zacian uh, with Weather Ball in the sun, which is very nice, which means we'll always get a KO with Max Flare. Something uh, very important to keep in mind. Uh, Leaf Storm, so we can get our G-Max Vine Lash and also, you know, Grass-type coverage for Kyogre and whatnot. I like Sludge Bomb more than Earth Power because I like being able to raise my special attack without having to rely on the weakness policy. Basically, if they decide to ignore my Venusaur, then I can just Max uh, Ooze and start getting boosts anyway, and then they'll kind of have to like deal with it. Um, we're only running a little bit of speed. I only hit 112, so we are speed crept specifically to outspeed Calyrex Shadow Rider in the sun. Um, I did that just because I wanted a lot of bulk, and you actually you need, you can see, 236 HP, 244 defense. You need a lot of bulk to take a Behemoth Blade from Zacian. Um, 
So we're just running a little bit of speed. It's really all you need. Uh, the only Pokemon that's relevant, that's really faster than you, is um, the Pokemon's name is Regilecki. <laughs> and you're not really scared of Regilecki anyway, because their Max Airstream is going to do no damage to you. It's not stabbed. They don't have a very good physical attack stat if they're running physical Lecky for Max Airstream. Um, I think I think if I get if you get a Reflect up, you literally take like 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 15% or something. It's really funny. To, to see the next airstream come in, you take no damage. Yeah, just just really, really solid um, survivability. And then when you get your weakness policy off, you hit very, very hard. Next up, we have Grimmsnarl. Um, this is the Grimmsnarl spread I always run. I don't think about it too much. Um, with this spread, you can take a Behemoth Blade behind Reflect. And that's really what I all I want for my Grimmsnarl. I'm running Reflect, Light Screen, Fake Out, Spirit Break. A lot of people run their T-Waves and their scary faces. But, like, I really... My team is so bulky, I didn't really feel like I needed the extra speed control. Because I already have Tailwind and I already have Sun for my Venusaur. Um, and the, the Pikachu G-Max that you can see already also provides its own speed control. I didn't feel like I needed another one. So I went with Fake Out. Very good for just stopping things on turn one. A lot of people are opting not to run Fake Out on their Grimmsnarl. So you'll catch a lot of people unawares because they're not expecting it. It's very nice. Um, it's just all around just support Pokemon. Um, Spirit Break's good for lowering special attack. You got your Light Screen, your Reflect. Nothing too crazy going on here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because I didn't make, like, a specific spread. I just kind of slapped a spread on here that works. Next up, we've got Tornadus with a Focus Sash and Prankster. Um, Tailwind, Icy Wind, Air Slash Protect. I run this set a lot, too. This is my favorite Tornadus set. Um, you could make an argument for Taunt, but I really just like running Icy Wind because... If you and your opponent set Tailwind at the same time, you can Icy Wind and be faster than that anyway. Um, and I just really like having that option. Um, just running max special attack, max speed, just do as much damage as we can. Um, there's nothing too crazy here. Tornadus is just a good Pokemon. Like, it's it's a good Pokemon. I don't need to explain it too much. And the last Pokemon on this team on this team is the Pikachu G Max. Hello, Pikachu G Max. Um, people look at this and they probably go, "Is that a Pikachu?" And I, you know, that's great to me because I love that. <laughs> um, the basic idea with this is we're running physical Pikachu because we can coaching into it and hit things really hard. And most people see the Pikachu and they set up a light screen in front of it and uh, you don't care. You hit it anyway. And they, you probably won't live long enough for them to see that you're physical. Um, unless you're coaching, obviously, then they'll know. Um, Volt Tackle, it's our strongest physical move. I think it's like 120. How, how big is Volt Tackle? 120 is a big attack. That's more than Wild Charge. Um, fake out for some fake out pressure if we don't want to Dynamax right away or we bring the Pikachu for different reasons than to max it. Fake out's really good. Nuzzle. Paralysis gets you out of so many situations. Um, partially because of speed control and partially because Paralysis hacks is busted. Um, G-Max Bolt Crash. If you don't know, G-Max Bolt Crash does Paralysis on both opposing Pokemon. Um, unless, they're, unless one of them is Electric type. That's the only way you get around it. You can paralyze ground types with that attack um, as long as you hit their partner, which is really nice. I've used it to paralyze like Groudons and Landorus's and stuff. It's great. The Nuzzle is here just for, you know, if we make it through a Dynamax, we can use that as a little bit of extra speed control, a little bit of extra um, insurance. I know we only have Electric type attacks really on this, but the only relevant ground types are like Groudon and Landorus, and they don't like facing the rest of your team, so we don't care. <laughs> if if they're running, you know, straight Groudon and Landorus, like, just don't bring the Pikachu. That's all you really got to do. Um, you could run Surf on this set, but I didn't want to set the rain on my Sun team. That didn't really feel like a, like a good option to me. So this is what we're running. Um, it's just really good. You know, you coaching. if you get the coaching off, your Volt Crash does a ridiculous amount of damage. With Light Ball, Pikachu's attack stat is 214, which is just an insane unmodified attack stat to, to have. Like, let's look here. Let's see, Groudon's attack stat is 209. We're basically hitting the same attack stat as our Groudon. And most things don't resist electric type. It just hits really hard. Um, unfortunately for us, uh, Pikachu speed ties with Kyogre and Groudon. So you'll have to find a way around that. Um, a lot of the times you can just leave Tailwind and they'll just let you get the Tailwind and the boat crash off. And now you have speed control for the whole rest of the game. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, that's that team. So next we're going to move into our other team here. We have... Hopefully, I remember to put the rental code up on the screen. I have a Cramorant team. Now, this is not the Cramorant team that I've showed off on the channel. No, this is basically my Series 11 Cramorant team, and I threw a Yveltal on it. And I did that. I was kind of, like, kidding to myself. I was like, you know, let's just see how this goes. And it, and it worked really well. Um, I won't have as much to say about this team because the spreads are really simplistic on it. It's just, like, regular, just, like, you know, 
not crazy spreads, uh, which I usually do a lot because I'm lazy, and when I make specific spreads, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so let's move over to the showdown now. Um, you know, get, get the rental code before I click off. You have three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, moving over to showdown. Um, the first Pokemon on this team, we have Cramorant with Choice Scarf. The ability Gulp Missile is super busted. Gulp Missile, if you don't know uh, by now, um, whenever you click Surf or Dive, you get a Pokemon in your mouth. Um, either an Aracuda or a Pikachu. Now, if you get the Aracuda, you, when you get hit, you, um, spit the Aracuda out, hit whatever Pokemon hit you, and they take 25% of their HP in damage, and then they take a defense drop. If you get a Pikachu, um, they take 25% of their HP, and they get paralyzed. Very, very nice. Um, now... I didn't know this when I started playing this team, but what which Pokemon you get is based on your HP. If you have more than 50% HP, you'll always get an Aracuda, which means defense drop. If you're under 50% HP, you'll always get a Pikachu, which means uh, paralysis. Both are very good. This paralysis can also paralyze ground types, which is really, really nice. Um, increments like flying type, I know we have a, like a big electric weakness on this Pokemon, but you can easily just like switch it in on a really obvious like Max Quake and get it in for free. Um, now the set here, we're running Surf because it's Cramorant, we have to run Surf or Dive, and Dive is bad, so we're running Surf. Um, Hurricane for a lot, we'll come up against a lot of like, rain teams, or if we just need like the flying coverage, this will do like a good chunk to Rillaboom even though we're uninvested. Um, just a solid move. Feather Dance for lowering attack stats, so if our opponent leads like, um, like Landorus with Tailwind in front of our Cramorant Colossal lead here, we can just Feather Dance the Landorus and switch in um, Yveltal and just like completely just waste their entire first turn and they're at minus two attack. It's really, really nice. Um, really cool thing. With our Choice Scarf here um, and our speed stat, we outspeed, uh, we outspeed Calyrex by two. Um, 149 outspeeds by one. We outspeed by like one and a half, two, which is really nice. Um, will outspeed basically everything except for Regieleki, which is really, really cool. Um, and the Surf is just really enabling to the rest of our team, so we just click Surf every turn unless we need Feather Dance or Icy Wind for some, some speed control. Um, a lot of times what you can do into like a Venusaur lead, you can just like Icy Wind and protect your Zacian, and then you your next turn, your Kremorant's faster. You Icy Wind again, and Zacian gets the KO. It's really nice. Um, the next Pokemon is Gastrodon. Um, you can see here, we're running a Gastrodon Zacian of Elto Core. This is just a really solid core I found. Um, Zacian and Elto cover each other very well, and then everything that they might struggle into, Gastrodon deals with. It's really nice. Um, so running Leftover Storm Drain, I'm just running Max Special Attack, Max HP. Um, I want to say that my in-game one is actually quiet, so I should probably put that here to reflect it. Um, it's also zero know that for a fact um so you're slower than calyrex in in trick room which is cool because you can use that to your advantage if they trick room in front of you you can get your gastrodon in um you'll take a lot of damage from hailstorm because calyrex hits like a truck why is that a five okay. um because calyrex hits like a truck uh, but that's okay because you're gonna hit them back and you're you're faster now so you know, you're going to do enough damage to them that they're just going to be, like, wasting their Dynamax because you could just KO them easily. Um, the whole point of the Gastrodon is just everything that Colossal doesn't want to deal with, Gastrodon wants to deal with. And that's pretty much how this team functions. Um, all the Pokemon just support each other really well in different situations where the one Pokemon doesn't want to be there, you have a Pokemon that wants to be there. Um, which, you know, makes positioning kind of hard sometimes, but it's it's a Cramorant team. What do you want? <laughs> Um, but yeah, very simple. Um, Ice Beam, Earth Power. I don't run a Water type move because um, you don't really need it on Gastronon. You can get everything you need out of Earth Power and Ice Beam, and it's better to run like Recover or Yawn in this last slot than running a Water type move. Next up, we got Zacian. Pretty simple Zacian. It's just Max Speed, Max Attack. Um, wow, has it been like this this whole time? Max Speed, Max Attack, Jolly. Um, I found that most Zacian that you face are not Max Speed Jolly, so you will outspeed most Zacian. And with, like, the tiniest bit of chip, you one-hit KO most opposing Zacian. Um, so all you really need is, like, chip from anything else on your team, and you can KO most opposing Zacian because you're faster. It's really nice. Um, Behemoth Blade, Close Combat, Play Rough. I'm choosing to run the three-attack Zacian because I feel like you need all of the coverage that you can get. 
Um, if you've probably noticed, this team doesn't have another great way to deal with Ferrothorn unless you can get Colossal set up. But 9 times out of 10, Ferrothorn's on, like, a rain team. So Close Combat gives you that option. If you can just hit it the turn it hits the field, um, Ferrothorn's gone. That's a gone. The, no, the Ferrothorn's not going to EV to take Close Combat uh, without getting Iron Defenses up first. It just not, isn't a thing. Um, the player off is really nice. Helps deal with opposing Yveltal, opposing Palkia, um, just any, like, Dragon types that come in. Not to say that those matchups are bad, but Palkia can be bad for Colossal. Um, and Gastrodon can deal with it, but it's, you know, kind of like 50-50 on who makes the better plays there. So, Zacy can come in and clean up at the end, which is very nice. It just hits, it just hits really hard, it's really fast. It's just really threatening, and it kind of lets you get away with doing some silly stuff with the Kramer and other, po other Pokemon on this team. Next up, we have Yveltal. This spread I did think about a little bit. We are running just enough speed to outspeed Caloric Shadow at plus one. So if we max our Yveltal and we get a max Airstream off, we're now faster than Calyrex. Congratulations, us. Um, we're running max HP just because it's really bulky, and then everything else goes into special attack. I am running um, a physical move in Sucker Punch. And, uh, you know, Foul Play is physical, but it doesn't use our attack stat, um, even though I'm running a modest nature. And that's just because the Sucker Punch still just does decent damage, even if we're modest. Um, I know that's technically not ideal, but it is what it is. It's what I have. It's what I did. <laughs> um, uh, dark Aura is really good. It makes all of our Dark type attacks 30% stronger, which is kind of like having a Life Orb on all of our Dark type attacks, so we don't need to invest much to be doing big damage with Evolto. Um Snarl just chunks things, which is crazy to say because it's Snarl. Sucker Punch will chunk things if they're not prepared for you. Um, Oblivion Wing gets our HP back, and anything that's weak to it will take a big chunk of damage. And then Foul Play does, you know, like... 30-40% to Zacian because Zacian's attack stat is ridiculous, even though it's resisted. So it's just really, really good. Um, yeah, that's the Evel tool. It supports the rest of the team really well. It can switch you in on Max Quakes. Uh, it can switch in on Grass-type moves that Gastro doesn't want to take. It can switch in on um, like Psychic-type moves if you know they decide that they're just going to like um, expanding force you to death. You switch it in, you don't take any damage. It's really good. Um, just a really good Pokemon. I think Yveltal, Zacy, and Gastron is one of my favorite cores to play right now. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Next up, we have Colossal. This is just a straight, like, ideal Wolf <laughs> Wolfie Glick set Colossal. Um, I thought about running more speed, but every time I've tested running more speed on Colossal, the loss in bulk really matters. And I just like running, you know, max special attack, modest Colossal. So I decided to leave it this way. Um, really the only thing that will give you problem is Tailwind Kyogre, and since we have Gastrodon, that's really not that big of a problem. Um, so it helps a lot. Now, um, this, this amount of bulk is, like, perfect for taking things. You'll take a lot of different water type attacks. You'll take a Max Geyser from a lot of different Pokemon if you just set up the sun after you get your steam engine off, which is really nice. Um, and then you'll just, you know, just get your weakness policy, Meteor Beam, Heat Wave... Um, I'm running Solar Beam instead of Earth Power on this one because I feel like the grass coverage is really important. Um, opposing Gastrodon can be one-shot by your grass move, like, basically, no matter what kind of set they're running. They're usually going to go down to it, and a lot of people will, like, max Gastrodon in front of you just so that you can't, just so they can quake you and get rid of you. It's, it's you know, it just helps. Um, it's Colossal. If you don't know what Colossal does, um, Steam Engine, if you get hit by a Water Type or a Fire Type move, you... Your speed gets you know, max boosts. So you go up to four times speed. Um, so you're in a weakness policy. You hit yourself with a water type move because you're weak to water. You get steam engine and weakness policy. And then G Max Vocalith is one of the most busted moves in the game. It does so like one one sixth. It basically does a third of everybody's or two thirds. What is math? It does like two thirds of the opponent's HP over the course of four turns. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, just, just really solid Pokemon. The chip damage is really nice. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. Next up, we got Rillaboom. Um, I, I, you always run G-Max Rillaboom because it's just the best Rillaboom. Um, like, there's no reason to not run G-Max Rillaboom, if that makes sense. Like, I guess you can set your own grassy terrain, but your ability does that. And if your opponent takes it away, you still hit super hard because um, the, the max drum... Max... Max Drum Solo? G-Max Drum Solo just does a ton of damage uh, anyway, so it's just really cool. Uh, Morning Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, Knock Off, Fake Out. So the only move that's really modified by our Miracle Seed is Grassy Glide, but that's our, like, physical move. That's our, that's our move of choice, like, 90% of the time, so I feel like that's okay. 
Um, and a lot of Kyogres have EV'd to like take Grassy Glide, but not from Mirror Seed Rillaboom. Um, just from like Assault Vest Rillaboom, who's not, who usually doesn't even run Max Attack Investment. High Horsepower, really good for hitting Zacians. You usually do like 50% to them, at least. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, depending on their spreads. But you usually do about 50%, so you can like um, chip it and then hit it with High Horsepower. That's a good way to get rid of it, because I believe we take one Behemoth Blade. Um, you know, they might not be expecting that. Knock off for Calyrex or for just knocking off items in general. Like, it's really good to be able to knock off items. Um, don't underestimate how good items are. And then Fake Out for Fake Out coverage. Um, fake Out's just a really good move. Nothing too crazy going on with this team, like I said. None of the EV spreads are, like, super ridiculous, like the Groudon team. But it's just a really fun team. Um, and I like playing Cramorant. People don't know what to do with it. And either it sits there and it gets to click Surf every turn and, like, get Gulp Missiles off. Or... Uh, they deal with it right away, and it's just like, okay, you KO'd my Cramorant, good job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so those are the two teams, guys. Um, I really, really hope that you guys enjoy these teams as much as I do. I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll throw both rental codes up on the screen again, so that you can see them again in case you missed them the first time. Um, I'm gonna, you know, be nice. Um, so yeah, let me know if you use these teams. Let me know what you think about the teams. Um, I think they're pretty good. I'm only doing two because, you know, pace myself. We're going to be in this format for seven months, and I don't want to, like, max out my rental codes. I like to try to leave my rental codes up for the entirety of a format and not, like, uh, you know, just delete rental codes all the time. I don't feel like that's nice. What if somebody wants to use my team from three months ago? You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that's, you know, that's silly, but that's just how I think. Anyway, um, once again, everybody, if you liked the video, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the teams. Like I said, um, you know, go follow me on other forms of social media. I could really use a presence on other things to help boost myself there. Um, anyway, with that, everybody, my name is Andrew, and I will catch you guys next time.